Welcome to our channel where we explore the mysteries of the ocean. Today we dive deep into the abyssal zone to discover some of the most fascinating creatures that call it home. Join me as we explore the weird and wonderful world of deep sea creatures. The Abyssal Zone in the vast, dark, and cold area of the ocean, located between 2,000 and 6,000 meters below the surface. It's a place of extreme pressure, complete darkness, and very little food. So the creatures that inhabit this zone have had to evolve in strange and unique ways. One of the most incredible adaptations of deep sea creatures is bioluminescence. Bioluminescent creatures are found all over the world, in both the land and sea. In the ocean, bioluminescence is partly in the deep sea where sunlight is upset and the darkness is extreme. Bioluminescent creatures have evolved a variety of ways to reduce and use light, including for communication, hunting, and protection. Bioluminescent creatures are truly amazing, from fireflies to jellyfish. These creatures have evolved unique ways of producing and using light. Anglerfish are a type of deep sea fish known for their unique hunting method and bizarre appearance. Anglerfish have a distinctive appearance with a large head and mouth, a short body and long sharp teeth. The females of some species also have a long thin projection from their forehead that resemble a fishing rod, hence the name anglerfish. Anglerfish live in the deep sea, usually at depth of 1000 to 3000 meters. They are found in all of the world's oceans, but are most commonly found in the Atlantic and Antarctic oceans. Anglerfish are predators that feed on a variety of deep sea creatures, including fish, crustaceans, and cephalopods. They use their sharp teeth and powerful jaws to capture prey and their elongated projection to attract them. Anglerfish have a unique method of reproduction in which the males fuse with the female's body and become preeminent parasites, leaving up her blood and providing sperm for fertilization. The males are much smaller than the females and do not have elongated projection on their head. Some species of anglerfish have a bioluminescent organs on their head or body that they use to attract prey or to communicate with other anglerfish. Anglerfish have a number of adaptations that allow them to survive in the harsh condition of the deep sea. Their body is highly compressed, which helps them conserve energy and they have a large liver that produces oil which is used as a buoyancy aid. They also have large eyes that are sensitive to light in the dimly lit deep sea. Anglerfish are not currently considered to be endangered, but they face thirst from deep sea fishing and habitat destruction. Because they live in such deep waters, they are not often caught in commercial fishing nets, but they can be accidentally caught as bite catch. Giant squids are deep sea creatures that inhabit the world's oceans, usually at depth of 200 to 700 meters. They are found in all of the world's oceans, but most of what we know about them comes from specimens that have been found in the North Atlantic. They are one of the largest invertebrates in the world, with some specimens growing up to 40 feet long and weighing over 600 pounds. The size of their mantle can be over 7 feet long and their arms can be up to 26 feet long. Giant squids have a soft body that is surrounded by a hard outer shell called a mantle. They have 8 arms and 2 longer tentacles that they use to capture prey. Their eyes are the largest of any animal, measuring up to 10 inches in diameter. Giant squids are predators that feed on a variety of deep sea creatures, including fish and other squid. They use their tentacles to capture prey, which they then tear apart using a sharp, parrot-like beak. Little is known about the reproductive habits of giant squid, but scientists believe that they mate in the deep ocean and that females lay hundreds of eggs at a time. 
the eggs hatch into larvae that are free swimming and are allowed to feed on plankton. Despite their large size, the giant squid are low sip creatures that are rarely seen in the wild. Most of what we know about them comes from specimens that have been caught by fishermen or washed up on beaches. For centuries, giant squids have been the subject of myth and legend. The stories of sea monsters attacking ships and dragging sailors into the depths have been told in many cultures around the world. It was not until the 1800s that scientists began to study and document the existence of these creatures. Little is known about the population size or status of giant squid, but they are not currently considered to be endangered. However, their deep sea habitat makes them difficult to study and monitor. Dumbo octopuses are named after the cartoon character Dumbo because of their large air-like fins on either side of their head. They have a rounded, balloon-shaped body and a small mouth or head. They are typically about the size of a basketball but can range in size from a few inches to over 6 feet. Dumbo octopuses are found in the deep sea at depths ranging from 1,000 to 7,000 meters in all of the world's oceans. They are often found near hydrothermal winds and cold seeps, which provide a rich source of food. They are carnivorous and feed on a variety of deep sea creatures, including small fish, crustaceans, and other cephalopods. They capture their prey using their tentacles which are equipped with suction cups. Dumb octopuses reproduce sexually and the males use a specialized arm called the hectolysis to transfer packets of sperm called spermatophor to the females. The females then lay their eggs on the seafloor where they are left to develop on their own. Dumb octopuses have a number of adaptations to survive in the deep sea. Their large air-like fins help them move through the water and their balloon shape but it allows them to float or effortlessly. They also have large eyes that are sensitive to light in the darkness of deep sea. Vampire squid are relatively small, growing to a maximum length of about 12 inches. They live in deep sea, usually at depths of 2,000 to 3,000 feet. They are found in all of the world's oceans, but are most commonly found in the temperate and tropical regions. Vampire squid have a dark, gelatinous body with eight arms that are connected by a web of skin, giving them a distractive umbrella shape. They have two large, light emitting organs on the tips of their arms, which they use to communicate and to distract predators. The name Vampire Squid comes from the squid's dark black coloration and the weaving between its arms, which resemble a vampire's cape. Despite its name, the Vampire Squid is not a true squid, but is instead classified in its own unique family, Vampirotilia. Vampire squid are opportunistic feeders that eat a variety of small animals, including copepods, amphipods, and other small crustaceans. They use their arms to capture prey, which they then bring to their beak like mouth. They have a number of defense mechanisms that they use to protect themselves from predators. They can eject a cloud of bioluminescent mucus that distract predators and confuse their visual systems. They can also turn themselves inside out, exposing their spiny, fleshy filaments, which may deter predators. Vampire squid have a unique reproductive strategy in which the male produces a small packet of sperm called the spermatophore, which he then places in the female's mantle. The female can then fertilize her egg at a later time, allowing her to store the sperm and reproduce when conditions are favorable. Magdalena squids are known for their long, slender arms that can reach up to 20 times the length of their body. Their arms are covered in rows of suckers and spines, giving the squid a spiky appearance. 
body of the squid is relatively small in comparison to the length of its arms, with some species measuring only a few inches in length. Magnapinia squids are found in the deep sea typically at depth of 1000 to 2000 meters. They are found in all of the world's oceans but are most commonly absorbed in the Pacific Ocean. Magnapinia squids are notoriously difficult to study as they are rarely seen in their natural habitat. They are believed to be the salivary creatures that spend most of their time drifting passively through the water column. When treated, they can use their lined arms to wrap around their body and protect themselves. Little is known about the diet of Magnapinia squids, but they are the opportunistic feeders that consume a variety of small prey, including fish and crustaceans. The reproductive behavior of Magnapinia squids is largely unknown. It is believed that they reproduce sexually, with males using hectoctylus to transfer sperm to females. Despite their mysterious nature, Magnapinia squids have become well known due to their distinctive appearance and their frequent appearance in deep sea exploration footage. Scientists continue to study these fascinating creatures in order to learn more about their biology and behavior. These are just a few of the amazing creatures that live in the deep episode zone. As we continue to explore the ocean, we will undoubtedly discover even more fascinating and bizarre creatures. Join us next time as we dive into another oceanic wonderland.